Renovations are nearly complete at the state capitol. Take a look at the work underway on the dome. Soon the scaffolding will be cleared away to reveal the scale of this big renovation project. Crews have spent the past year restoring the interior of the dome and the Capitol Rotunda. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Our state capital correspondent Zachariah Wheaton took a closer look at all those renovations and found out when the Rotunda will be back open to the public. Right here, you can see a seam in the canvas. Construction is almost complete, restoring the paintings hanging around the Capitol Dome. Since the Capitol was opened in 1879, there's been only one major restoration project in 1989, but efforts have picked up most recently. First starting in 2014 with upgrades to the exterior of the dome, continuing in 2017 with upgrades to infrastructure, then in 2019 to add Heritage Hall. This is only the fourth time since the Capitol was opened in 1879 that it's been scaffolded. Uh, so it's wonderful to have the opportunity to get up close and to look at those paintings uh, eye to eye. That's 150 feet of scaffolding. It took crews a month to set up back when the restoration project first began last July. Since then, crews have removed uh, decades of dirt and dust from the ledges and paintings that were hung up in the state capitol dome back in 1886. Had a lot of dirty water streaks running uh, across all of the panels here. 70 tons of scaffold, 10,000 individual pieces of scaffolding to get us up to these areas that you can't reach. And that's uh, where we had a lot of dust just kind of settling um, and needed to be addressed. The project is wrapping up ahead of schedule, keeping it under its original $3 million price tag, as historians predict the work to last at least 40 years. We hope people, um, aside from knowing that uh, we're continuing maintaining the building, that they're proud of what we've done. Reporting at the state capitol, I'm Zachariah Wheaton, News 10. And they'll begin the month-long process of taking down all that scaffolding next week. Once it's down, they hope to have the rotunda back open by June.